Annyeong everyone! So, I've been reading and spending coins on the True Beauty webtoon series for over two years. And when I heard a live action production was going to be released, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too eager because live actions rarely live up to their originals. <coughs> Move on. But I actually love the adaptation when I watched the most recent episode where Joo Kyung was doing her makeup, curling her hair, and turning heads with a brand new dress for a date. I knew I wanted to make a video, especially since I had the items to pull off an inspired look. Now, if you know me, I'm more comfortable when it comes to fashion than I am with makeup. But when Selena shared some wise words, I definitely felt the confidence to share how I do my makeup. I live by those words, and you're gonna see why real soon. So first, I'm using a beauty blender to lightly cover my face with Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation in the 2.5 shade. And afterwards, I go straight for my brows with the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in the 4.5 shade, which is a neutral deep brown color. As you can see, I have no need to fill in my brows since they're already naturally thick. I just use it to draw the tails of my brows to give it more of a shape. And I know this is unconventional, but I also use my brow pencil to trace the outer corners and lower lash lines of my eyes to kind of set a guideline for my MSH liquid eyeliner in the 9.5 shade, which is a very deep brown color. Since I don't use eyeshadow, this particular brow pencil also serves as that extra subtle backdrop for my liquid eyeliner. As you can see, I prefer using deep browns over black for a softer look. So here, I'm using my Mermaid Tarte eyelash curler to get them ready for some Dolly Wink mascara, which is amazing at lengthening and defining lashes. Now that my eyelashes are curled, I take that brow pencil again to tighten my eyes for the illusion of thicker lashes. It also gives the appearance that I finally lined my upper lash line. After applying some lip oil from NYX, I lightly dabbed on some of Max Lady Danger, which has a coral red shade onto my lips. Now that we're on the subject, for those who are caught up with the live action, have you guys noticed how the sponsored lip tints give the actress for Joo Young these chapped lips and uneven color application? I love me some K-drama product placement, but the chapped and uneven look is just not very enticing for consumers. But anyway, here's me being a scaredy cat and just bracing myself for a couple spritzes of Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. And now my makeup is done. I just wanted to mention that on top of not using any eyeshadow, I didn't use any concealer, highlighter, bronzer, blush, or even fake lashes, which I feel are all necessities that are today's standard makeup routine. And I omitted all of those products because one, I'm pretty trash at applying those products, and two, I just feel so cakey and heavy layering all that makeup on. And I've had some pretty talented makeup artists give me the full package look before as well, and every time, it just doesn't feel or look like me. So many thanks to Selena, who seriously validated my individual makeup methods. So in the live action, Joo Kyung's hair color had a pretty large barrel, hence why her curl results were pretty limp. But the actress is stunning, so she doesn't need to be extra with the curls. But me, on the other hand, I need all the extra I can get. So after brushing my two days of unwashed hair, I sprayed some Rusk Thermal Spray for extra heat protection. After clipping some sections of hair out of the way, I grabbed about an inch to an inch and a quarter of hair to curl with my brand new T3 ID, which I set on the M mode at three levels of heat. Don't ask me what that means because I have no freaking clue. I recently just purchased this curler and I purchased it because the manufacturers claim that it uses technology to work with your individual hair type. It has a smart touch interface that I still don't quite have a handle on yet and several precise heating settings that automatically adjust to your specific hair needs without overexposing your hair to unnecessary heat. So far, it does seem to live up to the manufacturer's claims. 
I have the older T3 clamp curler, which I always set at the same level 3 heat and curl on the same hair conditions, which is a couple days of unwashed hair, applying heat protectant, and hairspray to set. For this video, I used the Kenner High Def Hairspray 16. I can tell you that this new one has reduced the heat smoke by eightfold, and my curls lasted throughout my nine hour day at work with standard office activity. But like any clamp curler, I do still have to pick out those strands of hair that get left behind at the base of the barrel. When Jugyeon walked into that cafe in her two-in-one tweed dress, I immediately shouted, oh my god, I have a dress just like that. But mine is pastel blue with some gold accents, and it's got a bow component on the collar. See? More reason to make an inspirational look video. But instead of a date, this is actually me prepping up for work. So I work for a small criminal law firm as a paralegal and purchased this dress from Shine early in the fall to wear at the office and for court. My boss, who's a criminal law attorney, has only ever complimented this dress in the 14 months that I've worked with him. That says a lot. And whoever the wardrobe director is, props to them because great minds think alike because I've always paired this dress with white pointed heels. It matches with the dress shirt, adds sophistication, but also gives a sweet and pure impression with its white color. Usually I accessorize with pearl studs, but to match more with Ju Young's style in the live action, I wore similar Swarovski drop earrings instead. I really enjoyed making this video since I was able to geek out to one of my favorite webtoon series while getting dolled up. It's seriously the best of two worlds for me. If you guys have any webtoon or K-drama suggestions, particularly ones where I can possibly make wearable inspirational videos like this one, let me know on the comment section down below since I'm always looking for new things to immerse into. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.